High Adventure. In tonight's story, we present Pursuit by Night. Oliveville before much longer. I remember that tree we just passed is about 20 miles from the town. Trees are so rare around here that they become landmarks. Yeah, right. I'm surprised you can see anything out there in all this rain. And in the middle of the night on top of it. Well, I'd say the people who live in this area must be very pleased to see the rain. I think they only get it a few times a year, if they're lucky. Uh-huh. Hey, Victor. Victor, what's that up ahead in the headlights? Looks like somebody walking at the side of the road. He's waving at us to stop. Maybe his car's broken down and he's been walking to Oliveville. Do you think it's safe to stop? Well, we can't just ignore the man. Not in this weather. Oh, look at him. He's soaking wet. Which is to be expected under the circumstances. Yeah, well, for Pete's sake, be careful. Good grief. Will you look at his face? Yeah. I think he's been in an accident. Hey, have you been in an accident? Hey, hey, thank goodness you've come along. I need help. Are you alone? Yeah, my name's Lambert. I'm a government treasury agent. I I want you to take me to the nearest police as fast as possible. Well, get in the car. Hey, thanks. Oliveville is about 20 miles away. It's the nearest place. It's only a small town, but it's... Oh, that's fine. Can we get going? Do you have any identification? You say you're a treasury agent. Yeah. Now, here's my identification document. Yeah, but what's happened to you? What's going on? There's nothing for you to worry about. Let's just get to the police as fast as we can. Where did you crash your car? It wasn't in a car crash. Well, you look as though you've been in some sort of accident. Yeah. Or attacked by somebody. Well, the answer to both of those remarks is yes. Who attacked you? Some very unpleasant characters, and at the moment, they're looking for me. So let's get to Oliveville before they pick up my trail. About 12 miles. Victor? Hmm? Victor, there's something blocking the road ahead. Yeah, you're right. Looks like a couple of jeeps. It's them. Turn around, quick. How did they get in front of us? Oh, they must have gone cross country. Well, they won't be able to catch us. This car of ours has far more speed than a jeep. That's not the point. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I mean they're probably in radio contact with somebody blocking the road back the way we came. For Pete's sake, how many of them are there? Well, there's at least three jeeps in a truck. I'd say about ten men. Hey, switch off your headlights. What? I can't drive fast without lights. Not in this rain, anyway. Then reduce speed, but get the lights off. Okay. Well, now what are we going to do? Look for a place where we can turn off the road and hide. Maybe they'll go past and we can head towards Oliveville again. I can see the jeep's headlights. They're gaining on us. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, without lights, I'm reduced to a crawl. Look for a turnoff. Well, there's just rocks and low scrubs on either side of the road. Hey, hey, look. There's a gap on the left just ahead. You see it? No. I see it. Hey, turn in there. Get well away from the road. Yeah, right. Is this going to fool them? Well, let's hope they think we're hightailing it. Roll down the window and listen. Yeah, I hear them faintly. We'll see the lights when they turn the corner. Just who are these people? Hijackers. Very well organized. But something went wrong. What did they hijack? Two of them hijacked a plane which was on government business and carrying a consignment of gold. I was aboard that plane along with five of my people. Oh, here come the jeeps. I see the lights turning the corner. Yeah, that's right. They're not slowing down. No. But it's only one jeep. (laughs) Our friends aren't stupid. What do you mean? One vehicle chased us and the others stayed at the roadblock in case we pulled the trick we have. The chase vehicle will soon meet the one further up the road, realize what we've done, and start moving back carefully. Where's the plane you said was hijacked? It was forced landed in the wilds not far from here. A strip had been prepared, but all the same, the plane went out of control. That's how it was hurt. 
What happened then? In the confusion, I got away. I don't think anybody else did. I don't get it. Why, why don't the hijackers just take the gold and escape? They had two helicopters standing by. One of the choppers will have moved out the gold by now, and the other one is waiting to take out the men who are looking for me at the moment. But why are they looking for you? Why not just escape? In the confusion after the crash landing, I found out who their boss is. We literally ran into each other. After that little episode, he wants me dead. Because he works in my department, and I know he was the informer who set up the job. Yeah, well... Under the circumstances, my wife and I are now on that hit list as well. Hey, listen, I'm sorry about that. I thought we'd be able to drive straight to Oliveville and contact the police. Well, if we had a Jeep, we could go cross-country and get to Oliveville that way. Well, we haven't got a Jeep. We've got a car, and it'll get stuck if we try any cross-country stuff. We could abandon the car and try to hide in the scrublands until daylight. In an hour or so, this car will be found. We'll be tracked. Well, in this rain, I doubt it. Hmm. Hey, look, it's nearly midnight. I reckon if we're not found by 2 o'clock, our friends will pull out. Aren't they worried that the plane has been reported missing and, and a search will be... Look, in this weather, an effective search is out of the question for some time. They know it, and that's why they're hanging around this long. Oh, look, if we abandon the car and start walking through the scrub to Oliveville, in this weather, it'll take us until dawn at least to get there. That's provided we don't lose our sense of direction in the dark. I've always believed that attack is the best form of defense. Now, what are you talking about? We can't fight back. I, I gather we're dealing with some very determined characters, mm -hmm. and presumably they're armed to the teeth. Mm. Have you got a gun? No. Nope. Well, then. Well, a few miles down the road at the roadblock is a jeep. We need that jeep. Are you suggesting that we, that we try to take it away from... Whoever's waiting there? If we wander off into the wilderness, we'll probably get lost or end up hiding until an air search locates us. I'd like to move a little more quickly than that. If you don't mind, I think my wife and I would be perfectly satisfied just to emerge from this situation alive. Okay. Okay, you two can take to the wilds and hide until dawn. I'm going to try and get that, Jeep. Now, let's move. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah? We'll come with you. Hey, listen, he's talking about tackling armed professionals. I don't like the idea of those people hunting us and killing us if they find where we are. I'm not exactly crazy about the idea myself. Then, let's hit back. What? Do you realize what you're saying? I'm saying Lambert here has plenty of guts. Let's support him. What he's doing is his job. It's got nothing to do with us. If those men out there find us, they won't care whether or not all this has got anything to do with us. They'll kill us anyway. Well, what's the decision? Oh, it seems like I'm outvoted. I just hope you know what you're doing. Well, at least the rain stopped. That's an improvement. Well, it's only temporary. It'll probably start pouring again before long. <sighs> How far are we from the roadblock now? Uh, not far. We should be able to see it from the crest of the hill. From there, the jeep should only be a few hundred yards away. Hey, hey, listen. I hear something. Yeah. Sounds like an aircraft. It's a chopper. Flying very low. Yeah, I told you our friends had one waiting at the crash site. What's it doing? It's too dark for them to see anything from the air. I suppose our car has been found... And with this break in the rain, the chopper may be useful to them. If it's got a searchlight, and it probably has. Well, the machine isn't coming this way. No, not yet. Oh, well, we're nearly at the crest of the hill. Let's be careful. Ease towards the edge. Yeah, right. Well, I don't see the jeep. There it is. I see it. Oh, yeah. There's no sign of the men. They must be sitting inside. Uh -uh, no. Hey, look carefully, and you'll see the glow of a cigarette beside the vehicle. In fact, two glowing tips. Yeah, they're standing beside the Jeep and having a smoke. You think it's just those two men? Maybe there's others. No, I'd say it's just the two of them. What happens now? If we get that Jeep, we can race for Oliveville. We could just pass the roadblock in the dark and start walking down the road. That helicopter we heard a few minutes ago is going to start sweeping the sides of the road with its searchlights. How are we going to take possession of the Jeep? I have an idea. What is it? You and I will circle around behind the men, 
And then your wife will come out of the scrub in front of them and attract their attention. What? Well, if she puts on a good performance, we can attack our friends from behind. Attack them? With what? Oh, there are plenty of rocks lying around. A couple of them should make useful weapons. Now, listen, I don't like the idea of Anne just strolling up to those characters. They may shoot her on sight. I don't think they will. Oh, look, let's not stand here debating it. Let's get started on the plan. I don't like any of this. Well, how long will you need to get into position? Say, uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes, fine. I'll come out of the scrub a few yards ahead of the men. And then I'll shout out to them. From there, it's up to you. Right. Ten minutes, then. Come on. Sounds suicidal to me. Well, it won't be if you and Lambert act fast. Go on, move. You ready? Yes. But I feel like a caveman crouching here with a rock in my hand. We're going to have to run at him like mad and remember something. Hmm? What's that? Don't have any qualms about using that rock. It's them or us. You understand? Yeah, perfectly. If we don't beat them, we're dead. They'll shoot us in cold blood. Now, I'll take the man on the right and you deal with his companion. It's nearly time for Anne to appear. And that's the part I dislike most. That wife of yours is quite a lady. Yeah, I know. Get ready. I see her coming out of the scrub. Right. Here we go. Wait till I give the word. They've seen her. Hello there! They're looking towards her. Now, rush them! Okay, come on! Let's get her! Oh, boy! Come on! Oh, look out there! Come on, give me a hand, love. This one okay, strong as a horse. Hey. That's it. Hey. Wow, that's it. We got it right. Well, I, I've got the rifle. Hey, this one's got a revolver as well. Get him in the back of the Jeep. What? We're taking him with us. I'll drive. You point that revolver at him. Come okay. on. Help me put him in the Jeep. Okay. Well, there are hardly a couple of featherweights. Look, is this necessary? Oh, yeah. It's very necessary. Hold the door open. Eh? Right. Oh, boy. Oh, right. Here they go. That's it. There you go. Now, oh, what? Let... Look, there's what? headlights coming down the road. Is it the other Jeep? Yes, inside you two. Quick, our troubles ain't over yet. I'll keep the headlights switched off. Maybe they won't notice us moving away. Oh, they'll see us all right. This is charming. Why are you stopping? If we run for it, we'll end up in a gun battle anyway. Let's take the initiative again. Get one of those rifles ready. Fire at their radiator. What? I'll drive straight at them and you shoot at their radiator. Here we go. Anne, get down. Cover your head. Okay. After you fire the radiator, pepper the front windscreen. I'm not cut out for this sort of thing. You've been doing very well so far. If we surprise them, we should get away with this. I'm switching on the light beams now. Lean out and start shooting. Go on, Victor. Hurry up. All right, all right. Good. Now shoot at their windscreen. Look out. We're going to collide with them. Are you two all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you okay, Anne? Yeah. We just sideswiped them. Hey, they stopped on the other side of the road. With their radiator full of holes, they won't be following us. We can make a beeline for Oliveville. Thank heavens for that. There's a light coming this way. Have you seen another car? It's not a car. It's that chopper with a searchlight. Where? Behind us, just above the road. The people in the chopper will find out what's happened back there and be after us like a shot. It looks like the machine's landing on the road. Probably picking up the men from the wrecked jeep. In a couple of minutes, they'll be after us. So what are we going to do now? We're armed. It evens things up a bit. If the chopper gets close... Shoot at it. The people in the chapel will know we've got guns now. They'll be careful. That's true. What would you do if you were in their shoes? Well, I wouldn't want to risk having the chopper damaged for obvious reasons. So, if I was them, I'd fly ahead and set up an ambush on the road. We can go cross-country. Yeah, but the chopper has a searchlight, remember? We'd be spotted anyway. So we may as well stick to the road? For the time being. I don't see the searchlight anymore. They probably turned it off so we can't see them. We can't hear them because of the noise of the jeep's engine. Why are you slowing down? We want to hear the chopper, don't we? I'll switch off our headlights so we don't stand out like a beacon. Oh, this isn't going to stop them finding us. Let's cross our bridges one at a time, shall we? Hey, I can hear the chopper. 
It's following the road. It's trying to pick out our headlights, I guess. When they go overhead, you fire at them. You ready, Victor? Yes. And you keep your eye on those two sleeping beauties in the back of the jeep. Right. Uh-oh. The chopper's moved away from the road. It's flying a couple of hundred yards to one side. Hey, those boys aren't stupid. They're flying slowly, but they haven't got the searchlight on. Could be. They got a pair of night glasses. Yeah, which means they won't have any trouble seeing us here at the roadside. Maybe we should just keep driving. If we drive, we won't be able to hear the chopper. They'll fly around the hills and ambushes somewhere ahead. Hey, look. I can see the chopper now. It's hovering. Do you think they've seen us? Maybe. They're losing height. Losing height and moving towards the road behind us. They'll land a gunman on the road behind us and then fly ahead and drop somebody in front of us so we can't go backwards or forwards without meeting opposition. Well, we can take the jeep cross-country. Yeah, it looks like the road passes through a high cutting not far ahead. If we go cross-country, then we'll have to drive miles to get around the ridge. We don't know our way around here with the chopper chasing us, and we could probably smash the jeep in the process. Yeah, I've lost sight of the chopper, but it sounds like it's gaining speed. It's on the way to drop a gunman ahead of us. Yeah, and then the machine will be back to keep an eye on things while the gunmen close in. Well, we haven't got a choice but to go cross-country. Look, we can't just sit here and wait to be attacked. Before the chopper gets back, I suggest we move away from the jeep. Perhaps we can arrange a little ambush of our own. Yeah, what? Uh, what? These boys haven't got time to waste. And they want to sort it out as fast as possible so they can move on. Yeah, but come on, Lamb. But how the blazes can we ambush All them? All right, look, there's a slight rise in the ground over there, so let's make for that. Come on, and, and don't open the doors. Just jump over the sides. Yeah, but what about our two friends in the back? Well, leave here? them. Come on. happened to the chopper, huh? We've been here nearly 15 minutes and there's been no sign of it. Mm, we probably landed to save fuel. So still out there, if the jeep was started up, they'd hear it. Well, where are the men who are supposed to be closing in on it? Well, there's the first answer to your question. To the right, over there. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, so do I now, but uh, I don't see any others. Uh, somebody must be easing forward from the other direction. Keep watching the ground to the north. Mm -hmm. When that man gets to the jeep, he's going to find out. I'm going to see to that problem. You two wait here. You're going to tackle him? I'm going to try. Stay here and keep your wits about you. Okay, but be careful. Victor? Yeah, what? There's something moving in the scrub over that way. Uh, must be the other character we're expecting. Can you see him? Not yet. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait, there's the movement again. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him. He's not looking this way. It seems like he's gonna... Uh-oh, keep still. He's changed direction. Oh, he's coming straight towards us. Yeah, that's not all. He's got a rifle. What are we gonna do? Well, we're nicely hidden in this bush. Now listen to me. As he passes, I want you to pull his legs from under him. I'll club him with my rifle. <laughs> this isn't going to be as easy as you make it sound, you know. Listen, man, those characters are killers. It's them or us. Uh-oh, wait for it. Here he comes. Yeah, right. Okay. Easy now. Get ready. No! Okay, right, go right, get, right. Him. get him! Get him! Get him! Me! Oh, that's fantastic. You did it. Yeah, okay. Don't waste time. Get his gun away from him. Right. Oh, golly, oh, is he dead? Huh? You gave him a terrific whack there. Yeah, sure did, but uh, let's have a look. Huh? Huh? No, no. No, he's just lights out. Hey, look at this, Victor. What's this, this thing he's got in his belt? Huh? Let me take a look. Well, it looks like a flare gun. Flare gun? Yeah. What for? Oh, probably to signal the chopper. Yeah, the other man had one as well. Oh, hi, Lambert. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, I see you two. I've taken care of this one very efficiently. Thanks. We make quite a team, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. Well, let's now... fire a flare and see what happens, shall we? Well, that'll bring the chopper, won't it? Yeah, correct. I got a score to settle with that lot as well. And these people killed two of my men at the landing site just after the plane crashed. Since then, they may have murdered the rest as well. Now... Let's fire this flare. Hmm, look at it. There's so much cloud about, I doubt if it'll be seen for very far. Yeah, the chopper will be waiting nearby. Now then, Victor, 
You and I are going to impersonate the two men who were sent to kill us. What? And you, Anne, will appear to be our prisoner. Uh, should fool the chopper long enough to get it in range. In range? In range for what? Don't ask stupid questions, girl. The chopper will be coming in with its searchlights on. If we can inveigle the pilot into landing, we can try to overpower him on the ground. But if he gets suspicious before landing, we'll have to try and shoot the machine down. Oh, I can... I can hear the motor. Yeah, it's on the way. Come on, Victor. Uh, put that non compass Mendes character's hat and overcoat on. Here he comes. And with the searchlights on, just as you predicted. And stand with your hands behind your back as though they're bound. Right. You do realize that if this ruse don't work, they're gonna mow us down. Yeah, they're in a hurry to get away from here. They should have been gone for hours by now if their plan had been running according to schedule. Let's hope haste is gonna make them careless. Oh, looks like the machine's going to come straight in on land. Don't look into the searchlights, Victor. Well... So far, so good. Ann, you look into the searchlight. Look distressed. I am distressed, believe me. Hey, look. The chopper's just hovering. I hate to say this, but I think they're suspicious. We got their friends' hats and overcoats on, but we're the wrong build. Them are sitting ducks in the searchlight. When I say go, start firing. Ann, you run for cover. Ready? Ready. Go. Hey, we got the searchlight. It's out. The machine's coming down. Watch out. It's still in one piece. Come on, close in. Hey, are they still alive in there? Yeah, there's just the pilot. He's alone and holding his hands up. We just wounded him. The two men who came after us on the ground must have been the ones he picked up from the jeep we had to run him with earlier on the road. Well, can we please go home now? We got a little delivery to make to the authorities in Oliveville. First things first. I don't get some sleep soon. I'm just going to pass out. <laughs> hey, listen, I think that goes for all of us. <laughs> um, uh, has that bullion uh, stolen from that plane of yours been recovered? No, not yet. But I think it will be. A huge search is underway. You know something? Victor and I were going on holiday. We've been looking forward to relaxing. Well, they say a change is as good as a holiday. But in our case, I'd say the change was rather extreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, now well, you can get some sleep. And then... But look... Who are all those people coming this way? Oh, no. I think the press has caught up with the us. press? You must be joking. I'm afraid not. Oh, come on, Anne. Run! Oh, no. Run not again. Us. Hey, wait for me. Wait for me. High Adventure is produced by Henry Duffenthal. <laughs>